you are welcome again to another tutorials today let's take a look at color controls in after effects it's an advanced way of controlling colors for your elements if you have multiple or many elements on your timeline and you might need to start controlling the color it will be tedious or difficult for you to start selecting multiple objects and change the color at once but as a way around this you can set up a color controls and then control multiple elements with one color controls this can be very handy when you design a motion graphic template and you need to send it or sell it online so by setting up the color control you make it easy for the user to be able to navigate through changing the colors of your design so let's get into it so first of all what you need to do after having all your element and design and animation done then you right click on the timeline go to new and then select adjustment layer now let's rename the adjustment layer to color controls this adjustment layer is what is going to hold all the color controls for all other elements on the timeline so the next step is go to effect go to expression controls you select color controls you see that came with a default one color control right here what we are going to do now is to set up the colors so that when we click on the adjustment layer all the color controls will be visible and then we we'll control the individual element color in one place we have the cycle color here we have this rectangle with the fill color and the stroke color the star here uh, the star here too needs a color control and also the text right here need a color control but if you look at the options we have here we have only one color so you will need to duplicate that if you look at this one two three four five color control so select the color right there and control d on your keyboard five times to get other number of controls that you may need in your own case things might be different but in this case i need five color controls okay now let's start assigning the controls to the element on our timeline so first of all let's do the star on the star here make sure you expand the controls expand the, uh, the shape layer then look for the fill color you can see this is the fill one right here let me pull this up a little bit so that it will give us more room for visibility all right so now this is the fill color expand it as you can see this is the blue color that controls the star right here from our preview window all you need to do is to pick web it oh sorry first of all click on the adjustment layer which is your color control we need to lock it right here click on the key icon right here to lock it so that that way if we select any other layer on the timeline it will not disappear from the effect controls here like you can see previously when i click on the element and that went away but now that will stay so select the peak web right here and assign it to drag it and assign it to the color first color right here as you can see so this one now control the star color you can see on your preview window it's already red so all you need to do is to set the color name it the star color all right if you change the color now for the star color let's change it to yellow to see what happens you can see that controls the color our star is now green so let's do for the rest we are going to repeat the same process for the cycle I did the same thing I did for the star then rename the color control to cycle control as you can see the cycle is also red now we can also change that color to see how that works select the color and make changes immediately you see that that is changing the rectangle right here on your preview window has a fill color and a stroke color so to do that you just need to collapse uh, expand the properties of the rectangle look for the fill color and the stroke color so assign the stroke color to one color control right here and assign the fill color to another color control so i'm going to do that now what i do here to rename i select the color hit enter on the keyboard then i rename and then hit enter again that is what i've been doing for the text is a little bit different right here because if you look at the text property there is no fill color 
in it and there is no any color control from the text so what we need to do now is go to fx and control right here and then look for fill type in fill then select and drag the fill color to the text that way it will have a fill color so let's change it so that we can see it on the preview window let's make it white then you select the peak wave again and then peak wave it to one color control above so there you have it you can now change the test color from its own control so i'm still going to rename that to keep things organized text color So if you send this file to anyone, they can just select the color controls right here and they will see all the color controls on the effect and preset uh, effect control panel. On the effect control panel and they can just go in and change their color at ease. So guys, this is how to set up a color control, advanced color control in After Effects. So if you find this video useful, please hit the like button and leave comment if you have any question. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel if this kind of tutorial is what you are interested in and may want to see in the future. Please, thank you very much for watching. My name is SSB Otaro for Motion Digit Studios.